What's up, everybody? You listening to For the Record with your host, Nugs B. Oh, it's for the record, son. Yeah. Yeah. It's for the. It's for the record. I said it's for the. It's for the record. Yeah, boy. It's for the. It's for the record. And we all are. We all together. I said we. What is up, everybody? It's your boy, Nugs B, and I just want to give a shout out to all of the sponsors of Hashtag Together FTR. The first sponsor I want to give a big shout out to today is Advanaclean of the Tri-State, ran by Joel and Pam Dooley. Advanaclean of the Tri-State provides essential indoor air quality services to residential and commercial customers, things like mold removal, water damage, dryer vent cleaning, and air duct cleaning. Give them a call for a free estimate today at 606-331-5001. And that's 606-331-5001. Go ahead, if you're on Facebook, head over to their Facebook page at Advanta Clean of the Tri-State. Give them a like be sure to share their page, send them a message, and say Taylor sent you. And if you need to go to their commercial location, you can find them at 4446 13th Street, Ashland, Kentucky. And the second sponsor today is a great friend of mine. He is seriously, hands down, top two sculptors I know personally. And his name is Wyatt Freeman, W Y A T T. F-R-E-E-M-A-N. Look him up on Facebook. He's a sculptor, painter. He can draw. And just a great person all around. You can find him on Facebook, as I said. He is somebody I am recommending today that you need to get with as soon as possible to get some commissioned art. He charges a very reasonable fee and can do pretty much anything you need and will work with you very attentively. Shout out to you, Wyatt. Keep it weird, friends. Let's go ahead and get this episode started. What's up, everybody? It's your boy, Nugs B. Hashtag together FTR for the record. Episode 39, and I'm joined by Joel Vickers. Hashtag SYK. How you doing today, bro? What's up? How you doing? I'm doing great, man. It's uh, it's a blessed day. Episode 39, you know, uh... It's kind of been a bizarre day, I'm not going to lie to you. I'll be completely honest, man. Things have just kind of been weird for me the past, like, four days. It's been really weird for me. But you know what? I'm staying in my lane. I'm, I'm trying to just stay where I need to be and keep on moving. I completely agree. You know, you got to roll with the punches. Yeah, it's man. been really weird. I think it's because of the full moon. I man, just, it might be moon. I don't know what it is. It's just been weird, and I, I don't know how to explain know, it. And I don't, I don't even know how to emb- – I'm just trying to embrace it. I feel like. Yeah, I think there's been a lot of people that's been just acting weird. Dude, I'm telling you, it's been insanity. It really has. Yeah, like, legit, like, waiting on people, I don't know, like, the people who's been crazy are normal. The normal people acting crazy. Dude, it's ever a verse, I'm telling you, man. Uh, But on episode 39, as usual, we're going to start with the entertainment history for this day. So on this day in 2006, 65 year old Bob Dylan becomes the oldest person to top Billboard's album charts when Modern Times goes number one. So shout out to Bob Dylan. Arguably the best, in my opinion, top 10 songwriters that we've ever seen. It's pretty crazy. Not the greatest singer. Not, you know, he just didn't really, in my opinion, have a great voice. But at the same time, his songwriting was phenomenal. Yeah. I mean, most people don't know that he wrote Knocking on Heaven's Door. I didn't know that either. Straight up. Guns N' wow. Roses, that's a cover, man. That's a cover by Bob Dylan. 
uh, you know, and a lot of people don't know that. I mean, there's mo- there's so many songs I could name that he did that most people don't know. I know, I know. There's a oh off a uh, note, but uh, yeah. Simple Plan actually wrote a Motley Crue song. Oh, that's awesome, dude. Heck yeah, yeah, that's the, awesome. the I'm not really a big fan. Sorry to interrupt, man, but like, I'm not like a big fan of Simple Plan, but I love Motley Crue. Yeah, well, I didn't know that either, and uh, I was doing some research because of the song uh, "If I Die Tomorrow," and I was like, man, I want to know where they were at, like sure. in their life about yeah. that. So I'm doing research, and then yeah. the comments is like, "Simple Plan wrote that," and I was like, no, "That's he crazy, didn't. dude." So I, I went and looked, and I was like, "Oh my god, they did." That's I even crazy. tweeted out, I was like, "Can you guys like do a cover of that?" Because I want to hear your. And then like when you hear it, yeah. you're like. I could see how it they makes wrote it. sense. Yeah. yeah, that's awesome, dude. Heck I yeah. think that yeah, really sweet, man. Uh, on this day in 1979, "Rapper's Delight" by the Sugar Hill Gang is released. It becomes the first rap song to chart on the Hot 100, baby. Yeah, in Legendary. 1979, keeping it all the way funky. That's history. Hashtag together FTR. Um, on this day, 1925, Bluesman. B.B. King is born Riley B. King near Bear Clell. Yeah. Bear Claire. Yeah. Bear Claire, Mississippi. So shout out to the king of blues, baby. Shout out to the king. B.B. King. Come on now. Uh, yeah. So while we're at it, my friends, if you have a second, please go to www.togetherftr.com and check out the merch. We got some really cool stuff on there, guys. We got baby, uh, you know, merch. We got... Uh, let's see here. Fanny packs. We got t-shirts. We got the fanny flip packs. flops. We got whatever you need out here. You know, we're throwing hitters around, baby. It's serious. And there's a lot of people who's going to have babies soon, so this is perfect. For real, bro. You need to get a onesie of Together for the Record. Yeah. You need to keep I'm it I'm going to get one, and I don't even have a baby on the way. Believe that. You need yeah. to wear it. And a fanny pack. I feel oh, you got to wear the fanny pack, I'm getting bro. a fanny pack. Fanny pack is an essential. And also, I really, I'm really i going to encourage you to grow a mullet. I was going to say back. that. It's coming back, bro. Yeah, gonna... And like I already got dreads, so like I don't want to mess up my dreads. So like I'm going to live my life through you. Wait. So, what would it look like if you like a dread mullet? A dread mullet, bro. That'd be dope. But at the same time, I'd have to cut my front bang dreads, and I feel like it'd be weird. But you with a straight up I mean, mullet they, would be dope. They look weird anyway. So I Believe that. <laughs> you know I'm out here like Earthworm Jim, boy. I'm out here like Sideshow Bob, son. You don't know about me, boy. All right, so That's then great. I'm gonna go to a little health tip I got today. So. I was reading some stuff, and, like, I don't want to get all, like, you know, weird and deep or whatever, but I just kind of want to spread some awareness, you know, and pretty much, you know, you know, everybody needs to check their head, man. Mental health is a really, you know, really, really Amen. important thing that, like, people really need to do, and, like, if you have a problem with, like, you know, whatever it may be, we all have vices out here. Some might be cigarettes, some might be gambling, some might be, you know, some might be drinking, um, it could be... Uh, you know, pornography. It could be a, yeah. a bunch of different things. People have vices that, that it, you know, it's temptation. That's just how the world works. So with that being said, you know, those things can lead to mental health issues. And everybody needs to really, you know, check themselves and let themselves know that maybe I need to put some of those things out of my life for a little bit so I can be in oh, yeah. control of my life. For sure. I think if you do that, it would... I don't think people would realize, but it would, like, change their life. It's a release of, you know, endorphins in your brain, all the things I just named. And mm-hmm. there's multiple others as well. Um, but people have vices to pop. They have uh, vices to food, um, you know, adrenaline. You know, there's very – there's a very – Large amount of things. I mean, that I love to eat, vices. and I know exactly what you're saying. Yeah, yeah. dude. Like, I mean, everybody has <clears throat> vices, man. Yeah. But I, what I'm saying is, with the mental health, is like, you know, if you're, you know, the drinking is a big thing with some people because it's so easy. It's like, you know, there's such easy access to yeah. drinking, and people don't really, they, they don't put as much emphasis on that, in my opinion, that we should. I've seen so many people be corrupted by the bottle. I've seen more people be corrupted by the bottle. Maybe not. Maybe not more people, but just as many people be crippled by the bottle than drugs. Yeah. I mean, if we're being I mean, clear I have, about it. I know people who's like, every day they wake up and drink and it's just bad. Like, it their really health is, is deteriorating, but at this point they just don't care because that's like really the only is. thing that's keeping them going. And just for anyone out there who has mental health, like, I mean, it's a real thing. 
And there are people who will sit and talk to you. You know, and that's another thing, man. Like, if you do have, like, family history of mental illness or suicide or, you know, don't feel bad for, like, trying to fix yourself and, like, do better for yourself. You know? Absolutely. To become selfless, you have to be selfish, I feel like, to a degree. Yeah. You have to take care of yourself in order to be a good person. You can't just be, like... Yeah, I'm just going to be helping everybody all the time, every single day. I'm never going to get right for myself. You that, can't do that, I don't feel like. A lot of people a lot of people do that and I like I've done that. I mean, yeah, and then it's like has. it gets to the point like when it finally happens, you're mm-hmm. like, "Man, I've been taking care of everybody else, but I didn't sure. take care of take care of me sure and like you know i'm not gonna sit here and say that like after you become at peace with yourself you can definitely like take a vow of poverty or you can you know do whatever it may be that might be your calling for this universe or this earth or however you want to look at it in life uh but in my opinion i feel like we all do we we all owe the world something the world doesn't owe us anything yeah. like the universe we need to put good energy into the into the universe because if you don't then it's just nothing but negativity man like, that's, that's i was really what i was it talking is. to a couple of people about this the other day and like just like through music it's like yeah. um I, like i'd like to hit on like messages yeah. and the reason i do that is because for sure man i would when i came into this world I want to leave this world in a better place, or like in for a better, better people. condition than yeah. you were. You know, it was left in. Yeah, if yeah. I could help people, I definitely, if absolutely, I could, like, I'm not a superhero. I don't have superpowers. Of course, but if I could help somebody through absolutely. their struggles, through like addiction, mm-hmm. or if like someone who's like live like depression, yeah, or like getting beat, abuse, yeah. like anything like that, if I can reach out and help you, and you could sit there like, man. There are people I could talk to. Dude, absolutely. Yeah, that's exactly what – and that's a lot – I do that to help for as real. many people as I can. That's, like, my mission statement. Yeah, man, for sure. Like, I, I don't, like – I'm not going to sit here and say, like, that I am the best saint in the world because, like, we all could uh, do more. Yeah. Realistically, we could all go out and, like, volunteer more of our time to our community. Every yeah. single one of us. And, like, we have just became – we have became such, like – spoiled entitled like yeah you it's know about, it, it it it's the about human, the cell phones man yeah, yeah well i mean not only cell like, phones just everything television you know computers and yeah, like electronics you said, that's like, in general that goes in devices too it does it really does like i'm addicted to my phone yeah i literally like and it, here's the thing you got to think of people for those of you who are tuned in right now i just want to take a second and say thank you so much for tuning in because it really means a lot to me and i've been telling everybody over the past couple of days i think it's weird that people really like my opinion it's freaking me out dude like i don't even know i don't even know it's so crazy that people actually value my opinion i'm, man. I'm just gonna it, say this real quick not yeah to absolutely you off. no dude i could be i cool. use this platform it's like thank you dude absolutely I, man. thank you yeah for because sure. there's no worries, like things dude. that as like me sitting yeah. on the other side of this phone, For watching sure. or whatever device you're watching, yeah, on. computer, yeah, yeah, tablet. You were like, it's like going back to school in a way. You have brought yeah. like Mr. Lambert, shout out, uh, yeah, Mr. Step, Lambo, shout out. Step. You They're know, like talking my boys. like, Love those like guys. for the people who yeah. like didn't pay attention in school. Sure, man, I was want to go back. I was one of them, man. Yeah. I want to go me back. Too. That's why I hang out with those dudes. When you bring them on and like you talk about serious yeah. subjects, sorry for screaming. Nah, <laughs> you're good, bro. Like, I'm just, like, it's all good. It. Um, you're good, man. You bring these people on here, yeah, and then you're teaching us. But Dude, this time I'm we're trying. learning. And yeah. we're like we're soaking it in, and that is why this podcast, dude, will do re- so really much. great. I, I just, really, dude, that really it's been real. You know, that feels one hundred percent great, man. And like I said, it's so bizarre to me that people are really like taking it in, and they're taking it that way, man. Like yeah. they're taking it like, you know, that I'm, um, they're taking exactly what I want them to take in, yeah. you know. But it's freaking me out because like it's actually working. So like it's like almost like a good fear, mm-hmm. you know, because fear is a good thing. I feel like I feel like in war. In you know, uh, in peace, I feel like in all aspects of life, mm-hmm. I feel like fear is a good thing. Like you're self aware. Like you're, you're like, yeah, one hundred percent, man. And it's just so bizarre. It just freaks me out. Like I said, it's so weird to think about that people are really taking it for what I'm trying to express, and like it just feels really good. And I'm so excited that everybody's on board with it. And like, you know, not to like jinx it or anything, but like nobody's even said anything like I'm gonna be real negative with you. about it. There's people I connected with on on Twitter who live yeah. in like Washington. People who live in Washington uh, State or DC. Washington, like, like state, right yeah. on. Robinson, nice, California. Man. Nice. I have sent their 
your link to them and they yeah. watch it. Dude, I appreciate that, That's man. Cool. So it's like uh, I'm trying to help you out. Dude, hundred percent. Shout out to shout out to my dude Wes Williams, man. He's out in Cali right now doing his thing, dude. And he said he's tuning in. Uh, shout I, out. I, I really appreciate it, man. Everybody across the country, dude. You know, people who are out of the country, you know, let it be known where you tapping in yeah, from. Like my dude's Blaze the Messiah and then like Smoke nice. Generator. Dude. I don't know I know sure. uh, Blaze, he lives in uh, Florida and like I, every time I send him, he's like he watches it that's and then awesome, he shares man. his friends. Yeah, it's like that's, that's what killer, I, it's like a domino effect. And that's, that's really great. That's really awesome, man. Like I said, you know, I, I, I uh, it's just really humbling, man. It makes me feel good. It makes me feel like I actually have a purpose. And all of us want to have a purpose. Like we all want to feel like a part of something. Yeah. And like that's why I try to do this podcast, man, because I want everybody to be involved. I want people to pick topics for me to talk about. I want people to give their opinions, man, because that's what we need to do in this world to really change the yeah, world. Share knowledge and then spread. Yeah, you can't change the world through violence and like you can't change the world through like ignorance and stupidity and people who are ready to corrupt and such like that. Yeah, you know, you need to change it through spreading knowledge, man, and like letting everybody be aware you, of what's going on. Yeah, at that point, once you do it, like trying to spread a like the message through violence, yeah. people tune out. It's well, like I mean, yeah, like, if you start like capping people and you start, you know, torturing people and stuff, it makes people feel yeah. it builds no loyalty, you know? Like, There's you like never no build trust. loyalty. Yeah, you will never build loyalty through violence and fear. Fear is a good thing, like I said, but it's not, if you use it too much, it's not a good Engaging thing. Engaging with people. For real. Respect. And if we could all just sit down and like have a conversation as regular adults, I feel like our world would be in a much better place. Instead of like everybody being like radical Christian. Radical Muslim, radical liberal, radical conservative, radical whatever it is, man. These people are so extreme. I They're think, out of their yeah. minds. Like, they people don't even are know what's going on. in their ways. They don't know what's going on. People don't even want to listen to what people have to say. It's- if they know that like, you're on an opposite side, they're like, no, I'm not listening. Yeah, no. for example, you got to think, bro. When you were you were commenting on uh, the episode with uh, Lambert and Kool-Aid, mm-hmm. you know, about that episode when I was talking about the guy that was – when I was working or whatever, and he was like – you know, me and that guy could have had a great conversation, but instead he wanted to be ignorant about it, and he wanted to talk crap about me to the you know waitress that was taking care of him, and just be a tool bag about See, he it. He took what you, you know? said in like, defense and was like automatically like canceled you out. Exactly, he gave me no chance to express what I had to say, and that's what's wrong with this country: yeah. suppressing people. Now, I'm not gonna sit here and say that everybody has great ideas because that's just not the case not everybody has great ideas and not everybody has good politics and i'm not saying i have good politics i want that to be very clear i'm not saying my politics are good i'm not even a reputable source i'm not even yeah you know I, like I, i'm nobody bro i'm the just ca- past couple years like i i see what i see i just haven't really done the research and i know i i'm i'm doing that a lot more 100 percent, man yeah. uh like i um right when right before uh, donald trump got elected sure i was i was in my apartment i was like man who are the other people running? Because all you've mm-hmm. seen was Bernie Sanders, Hillary yeah. Clinton, Donald Trump. Yep. Who else? And then you have Jill Stein, who was yeah. running, and then you had uh, Gary Johnson. And I like Gary Johnson, too. But yeah, A lot of people said they liked him. I guess I didn't look into him enough. I didn't really Ugh. up my game on him, and I didn't really like really look into him, I guess. I didn't really, really give he was him a, a chance. You know? he, was a, he was a good person. Was he the libertarian but, or independent? Uh, I think Jill Stein was independent. I'll look it up. But Anyways, you were saying, I'm sorry. Um, it's the way he acted mm-hmm. in public eye. Yeah, his persona, but then yeah, again, I think the uh, Obama had a great persona, but then again, I think he did some shady stuff while he was in there, man. Yeah, it's like, looks can sure. be deceiving, but Gary Johnson, uh, he really scary. wanted to go He's the Republican, actually. He really wanted to go the right way, and I was looking yeah. into him and then looking into Jill Stein. Actually, no, he was the uh, Libertarian Party nominee, um, oh. but he served as 29th governor of New Mexico from 1995 to 2003 as a member of the Republican Party. Sorry about that. Don't fact check me and make me look dumb. That's exactly what it is. <laughs> we just fact checked uh, ourselves. He was the Libertarian Party nominee, like I said. I, I knew he was one. I just couldn't remember. But he did from 1995 to 2003. He was a member of the Republican Party. If I read right, governor. he also tried to get – he got a, got us out of a little debt too. Like he was working on that. Really? Yeah, just doing – observing and reading. Um, I th- – think i'm not sure don't quote me on that no right on dude for sure but yeah i was doing my research right before yeah this one because i i wanted to know if the country was in good hands man i mean that's what we need to do oh gosh it's scary right now dude things are weird yeah but people are um, things are really weird right now it's hung up on what chicken sandwich is better god it's crazy (laughs) it's so weird man but uh 
you know, Team Chick-fil-A. Just, <laughs> just saying. <laughs> I don't know, bro. Popeye's has better chicken tenders, but I feel like uh, the spicy chicken sandwich from Chick-fil-A is just that's, under, that's, it's undefeated. That's what I'm bro. saying. It's that's undefeated. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. But tenders, Popeye's got them. Spicy tenders from Popeye's. I just had Popeye's. Dude. The first time I had Popeye's. Really? Which one? It? Lexington? Florida. Florida? Oh, yeah. nice. I haven't oh had my the one in Florida. The one in Myrtle Beach? Oh, my God. It was so good. <sighs> the one in Lexington was pretty good. I had one. the one in Memphis. <clears throat> I've had a couple few different ones. I was man. on my way from Daytona, and nice. we were like, oh, you want Chinese? And I was like, oh, yeah. Popeyes, but then I look boy. in the corner of my eye, Shama Lee sitting at the edge of uh, the street, and I was like, nah, Dad, mm-hmm. go there. I was like, I haven't had Popeyes. And that's what I got, chicken tenders. Great. Yeah. With the mashed potatoes and gravy and biscuit. Absolutely. <laughs> God, <laughs> you can't go wrong. Dude, the biscuits are sick. They're so good. Um, but, yeah, man, not to get off our tangent or anything, but uh, I got some quotes today that I thought were Extra cool, and I figured I'd share them with you all today. I got one uh, too, dude. Absolutely, small one, absolutely, dude. Absolutely, man. Got to. Uh, people often say that motivation doesn't last. Well, neither does bathing. That's why we recommend it daily. Uh, Zig yeah. Ziglar. I thought that was that's sick. A, that's a I was great like, quote. "Oh my god, that makes perfect sense." I'm an idiot. What was I thinking? <laughs> I need to get philosophical. What is wrong with me? I didn't know what was going on. Like, I didn't know it's, it's when the, I read it. It's the bath quote blown. that really. <laughs> I was like, oh, my God, we do wash our butts every day. What is going on? Oh, my goodness. This is crazy, man. This guy makes God. so much sense. Why have I not read his his material before? I felt lost in life when I read this quote, it's man. like, shut up and take my money. Dude, for real. Uh, next one is, if you cannot do great things, do small things in a great way. Uh, Napoleon Hill. Yeah. So another one that was like, man, I need to be reading these guys. I need to be kind of like you. Out. Like you're doing this podcast. It's small, but you are reaching out. Dude, thanks, man. That's a great yeah. compliment, man. I, I accept that 100%. That's oh. super great, man. I really appreciate you. Uh, the last quote I got of the day is the best leaders are those most interested in surrounding themselves with assistants and associates smarter than they are. They are frank in admitting this and are willing to pay for such talents. Uh, I could be pronouncing his wrong correctly i'm gonna say antos or antos i don't know uh, antos parish i don't know if that's how you say his name really really sorry if i didn't say his name right sorry about that guys it's either or oh and another either quote or. yeah absolutely for the uh fourth quote of health the day. is wealth health is wealth baby. drink that drink water water baby go to the store it's like four dollars for a 40 pack at kroger or walmart Get it right. Shout and out laid back because that was not my quote. And yeah. if he ever hears it sometime, yeah. Absolutely. Um, and that's another thing I'm going to say. Actually, the water that we buy, uh, like the regular water, is actually not the best for you. You actually can go above heard, and beyond. What was it? Uh, Dasani? A lot of people don't like that water. It's actually not that great for you. Why do you think you get indigestion even if you just drink water? I, because there's certain minim- minerals that are in it that you know can you know trigger your you know I guess uh, it triggers something in your digestive tract. I have to assume I'm not a doctor at all, but I'm just saying like it, I've got indigestion from drinking water. So like that's not supposed to happen. I went to get a Dasani and uh, I hand, handed it to John, mm-hmm. and he was like. No, I'm not drinking that. I'm like, wow, it's water. He's like, yeah. I don't like that. It's disgusting. And I, when I took a sip of it, I was like, you're right. Yeah. I need my money back. Well, yeah. Like, <laughs> you know, and another thing is, man, like, you know, the pH levels of water actually matters because what you put in your body actually matters in real life. It relates to your anxiety. It relates to how you perform as a human, whether that be physically or mentally. You know, it's just the truth. Uh, I also got some facts of the day, my friends, for episode 39, hashtag together FTR. Thanks again, everybody, for tuning in. Can't thank you guys enough. Everything's been wonderful lately. And uh, keep sharing these, man. And if you're watching on YouTube, them. hit subscribe. Man. Absolutely, gotcha, dude. Man. Yeah, we need that YouTube love. We're almost to 100 subscribers, so let's definitely get that in. Uh, so fact of the day, Leonard Skinner, uh, the school basketball coach, is who inspired the name of Southern rock band Leonard Skinner. Did you know that? I'm going to be honest with you. You know how I found that out? How'd you find that out? Joe Dirt 2. <laughs> I'm not joking. Yes, that's funny. like I didn't Shout know that. I, dude, I just yeah. God, that that's dude a great is so movie. Funny. Joe Dirt's so great, bro. Uh, second fact of the day is air is not <clears> a mixture <throat> because of scientists freezing it and finding different liquids. It is a mixture because the compounds that make up air, uh, oxygen, O2, carbon dioxide, CO2, and the most important nitrogen, which is an element and makes up 78.09 percent of air are not chemically bound in the way that compounds are because they can be separated easily and there has been no change in state to any of the compounds or elements in air. 
So everybody who just heard me say that, rewind it because I didn't even understand when I read it. Whenever I read it to myself, I was like, oh, my God, this is above my pay grade. <laughs> I need to read further into this. So I did, and I read into it further. I'm going to rewind back. I might actually, after this, I'll reread it because I'm going to be like, man. So I read into it. It's actually super cool. I'm not even going to explain it because it would take me so long to even like think I know how to explain it because I probably don't, but I kind of understand it. It's really cool. Look into it. <laughs> like it's really cool, but I I'm just a- can't explain it. I don't have the right words. I'm a moron. I'm sorry. <laughs> I might I can't do that on a later date with scientific. Yes, I'll give a whole episode about this crazy get stuff ta- I read about. You should get a science teacher to do it. Oh man, that would be cool, Mr. Zeller. If, yes, dude. Let's get this guy. For real, yeah. we need to get Mr. Zeller up in here, dude. Everyone tag him. He was the bee's knees. If, I don't he know. talked out of his head. That's why he well, was so brilliant to me. Mr. Like, Lambert and uh, Mr. Step watch this, so. Of course. I mean, I think he retired, though. I don't think he works anymore I'm pretty at Blazer. Sure they, but they, I mean, they probably get in contact with him. Absolutely. That'd be great. Yeah, that'd be, that'd be killer. It really would. Yeah. Uh, so the last thing I got today for the fact of the day is, in 2013, about 134.51 billion gallons, or 3.2 Zero billion barrels of gasoline were consumed in the United States, a daily average of about 368.5 million gallons or 8.77 million barrels. This was about 6% less than the record high of about 142.35 billion gallons consumed in 2007. That's crazy. We could 100% be using solar panels by now. Um, I don't understand why. Wind turbines? Why can't we use these things? Why can't we? And I know exactly why. It's because of people like the Koch brothers. For those of you who don't know who that is, K O C H Koch brothers. These guys are bad news. They're you know one of them just died recently, uh, and like you know they're just trying to push oil on all of us because it's it's you know more expensive and they can charge more for it and such. Um, but the thing is, people really don't realize that we have all the resources that we would need to literally turn the globe into renewable energy. And if we don't do this, we are not going to have a planet to leave to people. If we... The future is not going to be a real thing. Everybody's going to die, and we're going to go down to like 3,000 population like we always do when catastrophic catastrophic events happen. We go down to 3,000 or 2,000 people, we're done, bro. It's going to be so hard to get back to where we are now. And we have so many things at our disposal. Especially the hurricane that just happened. Well, that's another thing because you got to think, bro. If you destroy the environment enough, the poles switch. Did you see the, the video ice of all starts the trash melting that came out of the ocean? Bro, that's a thing. That's one of them. That's yeah. just pollution in the ocean. But you got to think, this is what's supposed to happen from what they say. Like, if it, all the ice melts on the polar caps or whatever, uh, you know, everything melts, that changes the tide and that changes mm-hmm. how the ocean flows. So, if that happens, all the things we're seeing right now is a direct. Uh, you know, response of what we have done. So, like, you see places in Florida where they have to do those huge, like, uh, different drain mechanisms, and, like, it's almost like, I don't even know, it's like kind of like gutters. It's like gutters for their city. I'm not going to lie, it's like a never-ending cycle because... It really is. But we could fix it if we wanted to. We're just Because we're always trying to adapt yeah, of course. To the world, but the world always corrects its course. Yes, eventually it will. So it's like if we don't fix it, if we don't fix it, it'll definitely. That's why it's itself. a repeated cycle. Yeah. Just one hundred percent. It's crazy, man. It's so crazy that people would just rather make money than actually save the future. It's horrible. instead of like going on like trips, we should like just go to, get a bunch of people together, go to the man, beach, pick you, up trash, or just sounds go, good. Go to like Central Park. Living in a utopia at that point, man. You get maybe five people there. People won't show up, man. You know, we should do that. We should plan a day. I've already tried to do stuff like that and get people to volunteer and, like, volunteer their time. Like I was talking about earlier, I definitely don't volunteer my time the way I should. But mm-hmm. I definitely did make an effort at one point in time of my life. And I need to make more I, time, It was honestly. a couple of months ago. I went down my street and really? just picked up trash. Dude, that's definitely I, I mean, a solid it's, thing, man. It's not like, a lot, but it yeah. was, it's a lot than what more people do. Yeah, that's for real, dude. Uh, next thing we're getting into is the Raiders review uh, and recommendations. I'm going to start out with the recommendations, my friends. And for those of you who have tuned in the past couple episodes, uh, you're going to hear the same stuff because I've been talking about the same stuff. First of all, I'm going to start with the local charity event that's going on Wednesday, September 18th from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. The 10th Annual Homeless Veteran Stand Down will be taking place at 624 9th Street, Huntington, West Virginia. Please arrive by 10 a.m. Uh, for the opening ceremony 
and then stay for food and fun. That's in Huntington, West Virginia. So definitely be sure to check that out if you can, Wednesday, September 18th from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. Uh, next recommendations I have for you guys are some TV shows that are extra sweet, and I've also got a uh, Netflix special I think you guys should watch as well. Um, Yellowstone, it's starring Kevin Costner. It has uh, the guy who played Benny in Dazed and Confused, for those of you who have oh. watched that. Uh, it I gotta has, check that out. It has the bad guy from the original Ghost Rider with Nicolas Cage. Uh, I, I try to reference things that people would know, because saying their names just isn't going to work. Like yeah. People don't, they're not... I'm more They're of a, not like, I gotta know, see your face. Yes, exactly. Or hear from where you're from. Yeah. So that's why I try to reference for you guys. Uh, Yellowstone, super dope. Uh, two seasons. Third season's coming out in June of 2020. Looks awesome. I love Kevin Costner. Definitely top 15 actors, period, Great actor. of all time. Uh, and then we got Peaky Blinders, starring Cillian Murphy. For those of you who don't know who he is, he was in Inception. He's Scarecrow from the Dark Knight series. He was also in uh, 28 Weeks Later or Days Later. I'm going to have to double-check that because I really can't remember. It's been a while since I've seen those. But he's definitely the main guy in, uh, I want to say Weeks. I think it's the second one. I really do. Could be wrong, though. Nope, he was in 28 Days Later. That's him. Yep, he's super oh, dope. Uh, I didn't know that was that guy. He won. Yep, that's Cillian Murphy. He was in 28 Days Later. Uh, so he won, um, I think, Drama of the Year at the Emmys for Peaky Blinders two years ago. I think it was 2017. He won uh, one of the Emmys. That's going to Emmy for us. So great. That's super cool. Dude, it's a great show. I got to gotta gotta it watch out. it. I knew I knew so that good. guy from somewhere. Yeah. Watching dude. The Dark Knight. I was like, oh, Whoa. yeah. Like, who is this guy? Um, next thing I got to recommend, man, uh, there's only four episodes out right now. I think there's going to be ten total. It's on Hulu. You can check it out now. Four episodes are available. Uh, Wu Tang Clan in American Saga. Dude, it's super cool. I really, really like it, man. Yeah, I could like, watch that. Obviously, the acting could be better, but they're they're young kids and stuff, and like you know, they're not like crazy young. They're not like little kids, but like they're definitely younger people, younger actors, and they used like you know people who were coming up, you know. So like, it's good though, man. I really, really like it. The guy they casted for ODB is legit for real. Uh, another thing I'm going to recommend for you guys is The Last Kingdom. Uh, it's based off of the Saxon Tales. Uh, that was a book, uh, super great, you know, super great Netflix original. Originally started on BBC Network. Uh, and the last thing I need to recommend for you all is Paper Tiger by Bill Burr. It's his new Netflix special. Dropped like two, I don't know, maybe four or five days ago. I don't really know. It's been a couple days, but it hasn't been out terribly long. I highly recommend watching the Dave Chappelle. Oh, Sticks and Stones, bro. Yeah. 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 Super Throw awesome. that out there. Absolutely, I'm... dude. Yeah. Um, so now for Raters Review, we got the top five 2,000 movies. And that's not us picking out of 2,000 movies. That's the year 2,000. Yeah. So I'm going to let was, my – This one is extremely hard. Oh, yeah, Because there's a bro. whole so list of like, many man. good ones, bro. So I'm going to let my boy Joel kick it <clears throat> off. And what are your top five movies out of 2,000? The year, not the number by itself. Yeah. Um, my top ten, this is not in any order. Five. We didn't do 10. Yeah, top five. five. You're good, bro. My bad. No worries. Um, top five, not in any order. But um, first one on the list, Scream 3. Yeah. yeah. I wasn't a big uh, fan of Scream, but I appreciated what they were. Yeah. If that makes sense. Like, was, they weren't supposed to be scary. They were supposed to be like B movies. They were supposed to be kind of It was of corny. actually, it was really originally named Scary Movie. Really? Yeah. That's wild. I didn't even know that. That's, that's where awesome. scary. Fun fact. That's man. where Scary Movie got started from. ripping from. Yeah. Yeah. From the jump. Right on, dude. That's dope. That was a great movie. Um, mm. I think number three may be my, because there's four of them. Yeah. That'd probably be my third favorite one. What was the one with Drew Barrymore? Was that number one? Yeah. Okay. That's, yeah. I saw that's that my one. favorite one. It was pretty corny, but I liked it a little what? bit. What? Bro, they were made to be corny. They were just like, yeah. Have you actually sat and really watched it? Of course. As an adult and as a kid. It's very plausible, so let me be clear on that. It's a very plausible scary movie, so it's like watching 47 meters down. That very well could happen to you if you're a dumb white chick who goes to Mexico. I think that's why I like it because that stuff can really happen. It could, like I said, if you're a dumb white chick who goes to Mexico and just trusts any person you meet and, like – 
is an idiot. You know what I mean? But like, it's also plausible in the fact of like it's a shark like, could yeah. really get you. Get in our cage. Like, get in our cage. Yeah, uh, get in our cage. Fine. It's definitely safe, even though it's really rusted. And uh, yeah, just get down there and see what you do. Swim with thousands of sharks. And it has the guy who's the doctor, who's like Eleven's dad in you know uh, Stranger Things. That was the guy who did it in Forty Seven Meters Down. Really? Yeah, he was the one. He was the uh, he was the uh, like uh, you know what you call it. Uh, the uh, like the captain of the boat, pretty much. He was oh, the one guiding okay. them. I did. I didn't. One hundred percent, bro. Uh, let me see here. Yeah, I'll I'll pull up his name and look up exactly. That's cool. Let me see here. I can't remember his name, but he is like, you know, Papa from uh, Stranger Things. You I know? didn't know that. Yeah. I yeah. Uh, I love forty seven uh, forty seven meters down. I literally watched it by myself, bro. It was pretty intense. The first one's good. I haven't seen the second one. I haven't seen but the second one. I don't know. Either. I'm. Let's see. Papa's real name. Let's see here, guy. What's your name? Matthew Modine. I think that's his name. Captain Taylor. Yep, that's the guy. <sighs> Matthew Modine. That's awesome. Or I didn't, Modine. I don't. I, don't I didn't know that. His name. That's I great. Butcher his name. Yeah. Sorry about that, guy. Papa. Sorry. Um, and what's your second movie, my friend? Second one, The Perfect Storm. Oh, that's a great a hitter. Movie. George yeah. Clooney. Mark Wahlberg. Mark Wahlberg. Yes. Mark Man. Wahlberg. Marky Mark and the Funky he is, Bunch. He's probably like top five. One of my favorite actors. Mark Wahlberg. He Mark was, Wahlberg. What was that, that movie he was in? It had Jack Nicholson in it. Um, it the like, Departed? Yes. Yeah, was, dude. The Departed. Is, is, dude, I put that as one of my top five dramas of all time, yeah, bro. Yeah, I went straight I up. It, on the TV, and I was like, "What is this movie?" And Dude, I was like, man, that's it, one of my favorite. Hit, that's one of my uh, favorite roles he did too. Yeah, that role in The Departed, where he's like the you know loose cannon like detective. You know, he might have been a sergeant or something. Uh, but yeah, I think that's one. Alec Baldwin is in. Yeah. Dude, that movie was sick. Leonardo yeah, DiCaprio. Oh yeah. Um, Anthony Anderson, Matt Damon. Matt Damon, Jack Nicholson. You had everybody in that. That was, was Martin nuts. Scorsese film. You know. Yeah. Uh, what was the third one you chose? I remember the Titans. Oh God, I love. Let's just go ahead and take a second for Remember the Titans. God, Denzel's one of his greatest roles we've ever seen him in. Yeah. Realistically, one of his greatest roles, honestly. Uh, the guy from Scrubs is in it. Uh, oh, yeah, dude. He's a uh, Turk. Yeah. He was Turk in yeah. Scrubs. And then uh, and he was, uh, oh, my God, what was his name? And Remember the Titans. I really can't remember. Another. What was it? Opie from Sons of Anarchy. Oh, of course he was. Yeah. That's our guy. That's our boy Gary. I didn't know that until I was watching. I was like, oh, yeah. At the end of the season of uh, Sons, I was oh like, God, man, this guy looks name? familiar. What was it like? Oh, my God. It was like, oh, I really can't remember it. And it's making me really, really. Rev. Rev. I think. No, no, no. Rev no. was a different. No, he was a different one. He was a different. No. He was the wide receiver, I think. Maybe I think. Uh, I think the dude we're thinking of was a cornerback. If I had to guess, man, Ryan, a, dude, we forgot Ryan Gosling was in Remember the Titans. Oh my about god! That. Let me find this fella. Uh, Petey Jones is that him? Yeah, it yes. sure is. Petey Jones. That's exactly who it is. Yeah, yeah Petey Jones was in uh, Remember the Titans and also Scrubs. That's a great movie. Great, bro. and in the, the soundtrack. So good. From, remember the Titans? Yeah. Oh my God, it was fire. Ain't bro. no mountain high enough, man. Ain't no mountain. As high soon as this credits sing. roll, oh, so good. I just stand bro. up and sing. Oh Not my God, it was so good. And uh, for your fourth one, my friend, which one did you choose? X Men. X Men, the first one. X Men one. You already know how it starts. Wolverine's in a fighting. You know, he's in Canada. He's like in a fight club, pretty much in a bar. Starts off like Magneto, and then it goes. Well, it starts off. Yeah. I mean, like. The first best part. You know yeah, what I yeah. mean? Like, the first best I don't part. Know, it you was get really iconic movie. when you. I didn't see anything like it. Yeah. But, like, oh, dude, he's yeah, reaching out level. and, like, grabbing the uh, the gate and he's, like, breaking that it. Was, I mean, that was a good opening scene, but yeah. Wolverine, in my opinion, oh, yeah. was far better intro to the X Men. Yeah. Like, Rogue, you know, goes in there, blah, blah, blah. He's, like, he's knocking fighting, people out. You know, he's smoking a cigar. Like, and they pull a dude, gun on him and, like, he. Oh, uh, yeah. He yeah. slices Claw, it. Claws yeah, come out, bro. son. For real, man. And my and last what? one, The Beach with Leonardo DiCaprio. Oh, dude, that's seriously that's, one of the best that's movies. Two of all time. Leonardo DiCaprio movies Straight that up. year. Oh, I didn't yeah, think bro. about that. Yeah. He dropped Straight two up. great movies that year. The oh, Beach, yeah. if you've never seen The Beach, fire. So good. It bro. has an important message. Absolutely. Like, you can have as much freedom as you want, mm-hmm. you can have as much peace, much. I don't, I don't know, like. I don't you know what to call it. Mind, I guess. Yeah, you know? like have like you can have anything. Yourself, paradise, you know? paradise. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah, the yeah, word yeah, for sure. You can sure. have as much paradise as you want, but it comes with a price. Yeah, that's for real. That's yeah, real. but that's here's real the life, crazy bro. thing is that was that map wasn't for him. He tucked that map. Oh, I think yeah. that's why it yeah, came at the, the end. What happened? The energy had like caught up. I and guess. That, like, one of my favorite scenes is in that movie is where the girl 
uh, pretends she's a shark, and the boyfriend behind him, he's like, oh, there's a shark. He's like, what do you want me to do about it? Yeah. And he was scared to death. <laughs> I'll tell you, one of my favorite uh, Leonardo DiCaprio roles was Blood Diamond. That's a great movie. Dude, Blood Diamond is so good. He's a- Shutter Island, that's another one. Really, really good. Gilbert's Grapes. <laughs> What's eating Gilbert Gray? Yeah, He's that movie. Gilbert's <laughs> yeah, he played a great <laughs> autistic guy. Gilbert. Yeah. That's. I think he should have won an Oscar. Funny. Yeah, he should have won an Oscar for that Gilbert's role. Gilbert's great. But <laughs> he is. You're goofy, bro. Uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and knock off my Raiders review. My top five movies of the year 2000. And I agree so, with every single one. Oh, of them. bro. They're, yeah. they're hitters, bro. 100%. So the first one I gotta throw at you guys is. Pay It Forward with Kevin Spacey. Oh, my God. Such a great message in life. The, uh, Everybody's got to watch that, man. Seriously. I see, I see dead people, kids. Yeah, uh, what you is his name? Know, bro. Uh, Haley Joe Osment. Yep. Yeah. Is that his name? Yeah, yeah bro. Um, he was in uh, the movie Sex Ed. I don't know if you saw that. He was, new, oh, he was a grown man. He also played in the, that new movie with... Uh, um, It was that new serial killer movie, Ted Bundy. He oh, like, he was in that? Yeah. He was like the new it, boyfriend. Bro. Didn't even watch it. It's... Didn't even watch it. I'm a bad person. Uh, So my second movie that I picked from 2000 was your boy Mel Gibson and your boy Heath Ledger in The Patriot. Probably one of the best movies, arguably, of all time. Yeah. 100%. It was fire, bro. I loved it. From the the beginning credits to the ending, it's just great. Straight up. Shout out to Mel Gibson, baby. Yeah. Uh, My third choice was me, myself, and Irene. And I promise you, if you haven't seen it, (laughs) you might as well just go – Die in a hole somewhere because you're missing out on life. It's seriously one of Jim Carrey's funniest roles, in my opinion. It's dirty. It's vulgar. <laughs> His sons are hilarious. And it's Anderson? so good. Yes, bro. Yeah. So good. So funny, bro. Them, them all sitting on the couch together, <laughs> <laughs> watching Chris Rock. <laughs> yes. I love it, dude. Like so surrounding funny. him, and like they're all big. Yeah, like, there's little white guy. Yeah, little. <laughs> So good, man. Uh, and I also chose another, you know, back to serious movie, probably arguably one of the best movies of all time, The Gladiator. Dun, dun, dun. Dude, The Gladiator is so cool. Russell Crowe? That's a great movie. Joaquin Phoenix? Oh, my God. Yeah. What a great cast. What a great such that's a well written movie. That's when the movies were like the best, dude. Back in the early two thousands, nineties and two thousands. Yeah, bro, straight up. And another thing, I'm gonna kick it back to comedy with Little Nicky. Shout out to Adam Sandler. That's yeah. definitely Little Nicky's probably top three for me of Adam Sandler movies. What's, what's your first? Ooh, that's a tough one. It's either gonna be Happy Gilmore ooh, or Little Nicky, probably, bro. That's probably top two. Happy I'll, Gilmore was so. Funny. I really I do it. like uh, Fifty First Dates. Which Fifty are First Dates is good, and I'm not gonna take anything away from it. But I feel like it's I think a it's more, more serious. Ser- I, yeah. dude, you took the words out of serious my mouth. Role. It's a little bit more. But serious. there's like some com- like comedy. Waterboy, hilarious. hilarious. That, there was that one movie. Hilarious. He, like, it was just god awful. Which one? Jack and Jill. Yeah. Trash. Hated I watched probably it. the first hour and the Hated part where she I gets in the it. bed. I didn't even finish it. I turned it off. I was like, this is stupid. Grown Ups One, really good. Grown Ups Two, Great. eight out of ten. It was, was still good. It was subpart compared. It to was first. good, but it was not a fire movie like Grown Ups One was because it was really, really good. Adam Sandler has nothing to prove. <laughs> like, yeah, we, yeah, we're nobody. You know, rating there was his another movies. movie he tried to play. Um, oh, what is it? It's on Netflix. The Cobbler. He, no, that was a good movie too. Yeah, it was good. Rain on Me was his best movie, like his best role he ever played. It's like, where like he would roles. help. He would help people get into the industry. Oh, Sandy Wexler. That was yeah. all right. That was actually not that bad. Like, yeah. in my opinion, I thought it was funny. Like, yeah. it was funny in its own weird way, but it was kind of cringy funny. Yeah. Like, it was I, only, like I said. At points, like, I would be like, mm. Yeah, yeah. It was like, eh, like, okay, this is funny. Eh, as, eh, eh, you know, like, in the way it's kind of over the top. It was. It was cringy. Like I said, yeah. like, that's the only way to really explain that movie. So anybody who's watched it, they know what we're talking about. It's like about. one of those movies you're like, why am I still watching this? Why am I still watching this? Seriously. I have better. Yeah, occupying your time in a better Straight way. Straight up, bro. <laughs> watching the so, worst. So. Now, you know, we're still on Raiders Review. If you had to pick your top three horror films, which ones are you rocking with, my friend? Mm-hmm. I mean, if you want me to go first, I'll go. Because yeah. I think I know mine. Yeah. First well, one, Halloween. Rob Zombie's okay. remake, the first one he made. Yeah, the second when one. When he's a kid, dude, that was like the best 
in my opinion, incorporation of Michael they, Myers. I wish they would have made a movie completely about the just, kid. Yeah, like his teenage years, yeah. about how like brutal he was and stuff. Even in the that penitentiary, sick. dude. Yeah, and like the I don't even think it's like a penitentiary. It's like a crazy home. It's like a psych ward, I guess yeah. you would say. Like you know, like it's pretty intense. But my thing is. I definitely agree. I with think you most, yeah, most of the movie, most of the movie, he it was like up until he was a kid. Yeah, and then like and then he was a grown man. Plus, yeah. It was like boom, he's like didn't even 50. see his face. He's like forty five years old. You know old that's now. the guy who played Sabretooth? Who? Um, the guy who like was Michael Myers when he was a grown up? Yeah, that's wow. The guy who played Sabretooth. Yeah. Which Sabretooth? Are we X-Men talking X Men One? Okay, yeah. okay, okay, cool, cool, cool. He I was a that. huge guy. Yeah. Huge. Because if we're talking like X Men Origins, that was uh, your boy from. Uh, uh, he was in Defiance. Did you ever see Defiance, bro? Super good movie. I Daniel to... Craig, guy who plays uh, Sabretooth in the X Men Origins. He plays in a bunch of good movies. He's great, dude. Defiance just... is about like the Jewish, uh, the Jewish people who were. I think they were in Poland actually. Shout out to my people, baby. I'm Polak. What's up? No, I'm, just uh, I'm gonna leave. <laughs> I'm gonna head see out. Ya. I'm gonna head out. <laughs> Peace. Uh, but no. Uh, <laughs> so, with that being said, uh, it's about Jewish people and they hide in the woods. This is a real story, bro. Like, I need to watch it. Story. I don't think I've ever watched oh, it. Oh, dude, it's good. They hide. They have to hide in the woods, man. Uh, their brothers. Uh, there's a couple brothers, three or four, or whatever. I don't want to give anything away, but check it out. It's called Defiance. It's got Daniel Craig. It's really good, man. Uh, so, my first movie, horror film, going to pick Halloween, I'm Rob Zombie style. I agree with you. It's great, bro. Second one. Probably gonna have not, to go. I'm not gonna say top three. It's like the ones I really love. Yeah, for sure, for sure. It doesn't yeah. have to be top three. Just the ones you re- they're really awesome to you. Um, so I'm gonna say Friday the Thirteenth, of course, just because, dude. I've always Which loved one? Jason. Uh, I'm gonna say. Ooh, don't say Jason X because that, no that's a bad movie. garbage. Freddy versus Jason was decent, but that was like the end of Friday the Thirteenth's reign. I feel like yeah. that was like when it was going downhill. The, I like the new uh, Friday the Thirteenth. The guy from Supernatural was in it. Yeah, well, uh, the my favorite one is when he takes the dude and makes his legs go up. Oh, Freddy versus Jason. No, 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 no. Uh, this was a camp. Like I think he was a oh, camp. Well, I'm advisor. thinking about where the guy was on the bed. Yes, and he just like folds him up. That. That was sick, scene too. scared me. That was sick. As a, as a kid, I was like... Murder, she wrote, bro. Like, straight I'm, up. I'm, I'm going to church tonight. Believe that. We're going to pray on it, bro. <laughs> For real, because this is I extra, was shook. extra scary. No, but, like, that is not what I'm talking about. It's like... Um, did you ever see The Hills Have, the Hills Have Eyes? The one where uh, it's like they're in the desert and... That's- both there, uh, no, <laughs> well, uh, I guess you're right. When it's like army soldiers, they're not. Oh, Iraq. two. Okay, two. that's what oh, I'm yeah. saying. Like, yeah. So when the dude like gets pulled down, oh, his leg is like, yeah, oh, I know what. That's you're what about. happens yeah, in the, the Friday hole and the they grab him and he's, I'm like, trying to look to up. Off. Yeah, I'm trying and to look up which one it was. That man. scene is nasty. Too. Oh my god, which one was it? I don't even know. For those of you who are like crazy horror fans, you know. Um, what Friday the 13th that is? I can't remember which one it is, man. I didn't like but, the one he was in Manhattan. I don't think I saw that one. That for one, real. I don't know. It's just that was too Hollywood. Yeah, I definitely. I don't even. I don't know if I saw. It. Is that Jason goes to hell? No, Jason what goes was to hell. That like, one. He dies in the beginning. He dies, and, and then, then he's like, like a his little soul like, goes worm to like, or something, or like a demon of I, some no, type. I think it, like, I don't his soul even gets. No, bro. That's the movie that opened up uh, Freddy vs. Jason. You know that? The, what the uh, Jason what goes you to call hell? It? Cause that, really, if you see the ending. Where his uh, mask is sitting on the uh, uh-huh. uh, stand, Freddy's claw comes out and grabs it. Really? I swear to God. Wow, my, that's crazy. I didn't even shout out to that, my dad bro. because we were watching it. He's he like, it you out. gotta watch the ending. I was like, he died. Really? He's like, no, nah, I gotta watch. And I'm like, wow. it's his mask. And then all of a sudden, the claw comes out and grabs it. I was like, oh my God. I'm trying to find that one, man, of that. Uh, it was like an older one. Uh, oh my god, I can't Kevin, even remember. Kevin Bacon was in the first Friday the Thirteenth. Dang, really? Yeah, was that he's the one, the he one where in? he's uh, sitting on a top of the um, man. What bunk bed? What year did that come out, dude? The first Friday the Thirteenth. Um, right, here's a I trivia love question, Jason. Though, trivia man, question for, for you: Who was the killer in Friday the Thirteenth? The Who original. Was the original killer? Yeah, dude, you got me. Jason's mom. Oh, of course, bro. I thought you... Dude, he would have yeah, been smoked. AJ, he would have been smoked in Scream 1. Oh, yeah. From the jump. Sure. Absolutely. Let me see. First one was uh, 1980, bro. Yeah. Yeah, and shout it, out to my uh, boy. Yeah. Wow. That's the first one where his mom's the murderer. What? 19, right? 19, yeah. 1980, that, yes. Wow. And then... Yeah. 
Yeah. I think the 80s is like Bacon. Yeah. yeah. Harry Crosby. Yeah, dude. Janine Taylor, Mark Nelson. That's dude, what, good call on that. 1980, bro. That the budget was seven hundred and uh seven hundred thousand dollars. Wow. That's and crazy. it opened up a nineteen eighty, bro. Yeah, that's crazy how long ago that was. That's wild, man. Before we what's were your, what's your uh, third one? Uh my third one, I'm probably gonna have to go with uh, it's a tough toss up. It's either gonna be mm, Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Or, that's a good one. There's there's a lot of them though. I really liked, for some reason, I don't know why, but, like, it's not really even a horror. It's just, like, uh, I don't even know what it is. But uh, Cabin Fever, the first one. Yeah. You remember it, bro? Yeah. Like, it had Sean Hunter in it. Like, yeah, a, I thought that one yeah. was really good. It's it wasn't really, movie. like, a horror, but, like, I can't like, really even say it's a horror then. I guess I'll say Amityville Horror where is that my guy, third. Uh, he, shot the, uh, he shot the dude in the beginning, and yep. then he came back. He yep. was like, who's that guy? He's like, I don't know. Just don't let him Straight in. Straight up. Uh, and yeah, like I said, I'm I'm probably gonna say Amityville Horror if I have to pick a horror film. That's a, that's a great one too, um, dude. The one with Ryan Reynolds. Yeah, dude, man, so good, so scary. That's probably one of his best serious roles. Straight up, yeah, 100, percent man. It was really, really good. I really enjoyed that. Uh, so, what's your top three, man? If you had to, if top, you, or, I mean, not top three, just you know your favorite one. I love what's Scream your One. Scream One. Scream One, probably. Yeah, yeah. That's I got it tatted on me. Absolutely, bro. Um, Ghost face. Two. My. Michael, My- I'm not sure which Michael Myers though. I have a my copy. opinion. Like I said, I feel like Halloween the remake was probably I like, the best. I know a lot of people be like, "Oh, that's a crappy horror which movie," one? but I like H2O because it has Jamie oh, Lee Curtis. Yeah, right on. Yeah, for I don't sure. know. I might take that back bad. and put the Faculty. Yeah, the Faculty was cool too. Yeah, yeah good. Call, I really like the Faculty. Yeah, that was a great Elijah movie. Wood, and it also yeah. had the same guy that was in H2O. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, good call, bro. Um, Faculty was pretty dope. Had the girl from Final Destination. It was a great cast. Yeah. Uh, Usher was in it. Yep. You're um, absolutely right. I think Trick or Treat. Nice. Have you seen that one? Yeah, that's the one with the clown, right? Or mm. which one am I thinking of? I'm uh, thinking of... Trick or Treat's like the uh, the spirit of Halloween. Sam? Oh, you told me about that. I tried to watch it. It looked corny. It's pretty... If you watch it... I didn't give it a chance. I watched give it, it chance. 10 minutes give of it, it and I was like, oh, this looks stupid. It's like four stories, but it goes into one. Okay, okay. The, I'm not okay. going to lie. I didn't really give you it a chance. You know the girl from True Blood, the girl who plays Sookie, who also plays Rogue? Yep. She's in it. She's, nice. I won't tell you I won't tell you her character, yeah. but it surprised me. Nice, bro. Really good, bro. Rogue was sick, dude, for real. She's a really great actor. So, uh, yeah, that's that's a good call, bro. Trick or treat. I, I might have to check it out. Like I said, I don't know. I feel like I watched maybe ten or twenty minutes of it, and it just wasn't hitting for me. And I was like, ah, oh, this is lame. In the I can't beginning, get where into uh, it. she gets carved up by that, and like she gets put on decorations. You yeah, didn't, you didn't think like that. Eh, I don't know. I it mean, that's not the best thing in the movie. It seemed corny to me, bro. It seemed I don't. You know, know. we should watch it right after this. <laughs> for real, bro. Trick or straight up. Treat. Um, I don't even know. So what? that was my man's top three, and now I'm gonna ask you. The, you know, notorious question of Together FTR. If Uh-oh. you had to choose an animal to represent yourself as a human, which one would it be? I would definitely choose a bird. And I have reasons for that. And it sounds like, oh, it's a bird. A bird, baby. Yeah, but there, it gets deeper than that. Let's hear it. Um, a bird loves to, he lives in a nest. He learns, learns to eat. He just learns everything about life. And then he has to go explore it. Yeah, because it's a burden. Uh, your mom can't teach you that. Your dad can't teach you that. So that's, that's up to you. That's very true. So as soon as you spread your wings, you learn to fly. That's very true, man. That's yeah. A great so point. as you're flying, you're Which flying. Which type of bird would you categorize yourself as? I don't know. But you look like a dodo. <laughs> <laughs> mine, mine. You my, a pelican. <laughs> I'm the one. On, I'm that one stupid bird on Finding Dory. Boom. No, that was a seal. Never mind. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Never mind. Uh, no, nah, you're the you're the dumb bird that was on Angry Birds. Did you watch Angry Birds? Not, no, Dude, it was no. hilarious. The first one, it was really Wait. funny. I, okay, you watched it. You have kids. I'll of you course that. I did. You already I know, did. son. No grown man should be watching Angry Birds. <laughs> Play it oh, on your phone. <laughs> is this so weird? They you, made a movie about a video game. Listen, I didn't. Phone listen, game? I didn't know this. I was watching Lion King mm-hmm. in the theater, the new one that came out, and it, it showed. Angry Birds 2, and I look oh, yeah. at AJ, and I'm like, I didn't even know they made an Angry Birds 1. Dude, it was actually pretty funny. I'm not going to lie. Uh, it had uh If I watch it, I won't tell you. <laughs> bro, you'll love it. Trust me, dude. It's I actually Yeah, really I funny. didn't even know that they made one. 
Let me see. He's got some funny voice actors. He's got like Danny McBride. Uh, oh, he's funny, dude. He's hilarious. You already okay. know. Uh, it was in 2016. Let me see here. Who are we? Got? I really, did. yeah, I did. I swear to God, I didn't know. We got Josh Gad. He's hilarious. Danny McBride, Maya Rudolph, Bill Hader, Peter Dinklage, Sean Penn, Keegan Mike and or Keegan Michael Key, Kate McKinnon, Tony Hale, Hannibal Burris, uh, uh, Ian uh, uh, Hecox. You got uh, Anthony Padilla, dude. There's some funny people I'll, in it, man. For real, I'll probably just sit down with John and watch it. Uh, you gotta have an excuse to watch it. <laughs> That's funny. If I bro. like it, <laughs> I was like, yeah, the movie was really good. That's hilarious. John laughed bro. a lot. Uh, next question that is becoming it's it's going to become a notorious question. Oh yeah, hold on, let me finish what I was saying. Oh bird. yeah, for sure. Bring forgot, it on, baby. Um, it gets deeper than that. Like you, you oh gotta, the bird. We're still on yeah, the bird. Okay, yeah, yeah gotcha, you got to gotcha, fl- gotcha. you you fly with the flock, and then uh-huh. you learn from the flock. Yeah, you got to fly with the eagles. I mean, Dude, first you got to learn how to fly. You got to fly like an eagle to the sea. Fly like an eagle. Let my spirit, spirit carry. Capture me. <laughs> I think it's carry. Is it capture? I think it's capture me. Ah, you might be right. Or it, it could be uh, capture me. or carry because it uh, might be both, like in different parts of the song. Yeah. Uh, fly like an eagle lyrics. Look how corny we are, bro. bro we I love know. this song. Let me see. Uh, I want to fly like an eagle. Yeah, let my spirit carry me. I thought he said capture. Uh, he might. Hold on. Don't give up. Don't get. Don't give up faith now. Don't get. Oh no, it's carry me. Uh, yeah, yeah, it's carry me. I, I wonder if Zach Brown said it. Old Dad was right. So because the Zach Brown the band covered that too. For the record, uh, hashtag Together FTR. And while we're on that subject, my friends, please go check out www.togetherftr.com. Go check out my man Sick on Twitter. What's your handle? Official Sick. Official Sick, baby. Also on Instagram. Also on Instagram and also um, on Facebook. You can yeah. add him at Official Sick. Got you. Um, so yeah, go add him on all of those. Uh, go check out Twitter, uh, Instagram, YouTube, Facebook. Also, uh, I have a show this coming Saturday. Absolutely. What, what's the date on that? It's uh, the twenty first, I believe. Okay, cool. It's the twenty first at Central Park. Um, it's the second annual Shout Festival. It's a Christian festival. And Central Park is in Ashland. Yeah. Okay. Cool. At the bandstand. Nice man. Heck yeah. That's awesome, dude. So if you're free, we just want to come down, swing, listen to great music. Swing by, baby. Swing by. Uh, shout out Aaron Keaton. He's Absolutely. the one putting it on. That's uh, awesome, man. Tim Green's going to be on there. Man, there's a, sure. there's a lot of people on there. Heck just, yeah, dude. It's on my phone. Yeah, that's sweet, man. I'm really pumped. Uh, it's, that's going to be freaking awesome. Um, so with that being said, like I said, definitely go subscribe uh, on YouTube. Follow us on Twitter. Uh, follow us on Instagram and Facebook, just Together FTR across the board. You can check us out on Google. You can go to our website, uh, you know, buy some merch, whatever you guys want to do. Get the fanny pack. Get the fanny pack, boy. Um, you know, definitely tune in. I really appreciate everybody so much. Um, you know, it's really been a great episode, man. It's been, I'm, I'm blessed to have you, bro. I really appreciate you Thank coming you, man. on, man. Love like, it. It's been great. Uh, is there anything else you want to tell them before we head off? Uh that- is that um, about it? They got yeah, your handles now. Yeah, you got some, any uh, music coming up or anything? Or you got, um, you got the show coming yeah, up Yeah, there's a, actually um, uh, Stone Rocks. Okay. It's his album, and I just did a feature for him. Nice, And man. that song's dropping October 4th. October 4th. Okay, um, yeah, dude. There's a couple more people that um, I've been working with, but because that announcement has been made, yeah. I ain't going to make anyone else. Any more for sure, for sure, yeah, yeah. I, mean, I plan they on got your handles, you know. They got your show coming up. They got yeah. this show coming up. New music is on the way. Yeah, you know, check my man. I'm definitely out. trying to work on this project, at least five songs, and then I'm just gonna like stop for a second and yeah. just try to do as many shows as I can. Yeah, for sure, man. That's awesome. Uh, and you know. Got to be real with it. Uh, my dude got me to 100 followers on Twitter. He he really grinded out. He and I, you know, we shared it real hard. Uh, uh, so we retweeted a so lot of stuff. So we're talking. Cool everyone stuff. can see it. Yeah, straight up, bro. I think uh, I think me and uh, now I think me and you should do a song. Yeah, bro, for sure, absolutely. Like I said, I uh, I'm currently working on my EP, bro. So like I'm I'm like it's done, but like there's things I might want to tighten up before I get it done. Sure, uh, sure. There's only like on like three songs. Pretty much the rest of it's dumb, uh, done, man. Yeah, it's dumb. You know, it's, it's, it's dumb. Don't you know? get it. It's dumb. Don't buy it, bro. It's trash. Uh, no, but it's almost done. I got like three or four songs left that need mixed and mastered. Any surprises? 
Uh, I mean, uh, nah, I don't even want to tell nothing right now because it's still early in the game. I I'll, I actually, like I'll, actually, I'm gonna say something. Oh. All I gotta <laughs> drum roll. All, <laughs> all I gotta say is uh, it's definitely the best body of work I've ever put out. It's very well thought out. Like, For sure, you know, it's very calculated. I feel like I got some awesome videos that are gonna come out beforehand. I got some awesome singles that are gonna come out beforehand awesome. on the EP. And I haven't released music in a long time, so it's about time I'm going to release some music here shortly. Yeah. In the next, like, month or two, I got to drop something for these people and let them know that I'm still here. I'm just, I ain't been releasing nothing because all my unreleased music, I want to keep it. I want to keep it, bro. And, like, it really is. Some of it is timeless. It really is, you know. Definitely let your you know, I'm, serenade. I'm letting it, I'm letting it chill, you know, and just you know do what it does. But I don't want to wait too long and let the song out, you know, outdo itself. I guess like outplay itself like, before it even gets. Don't played. want the song outdated. Pretty much, I don't want okay. the song to be outdated. Okay. I don't want the song to play itself. Like I said, that's the best way I can put it. I've, yeah, I have a song like we were talking about, like uh, mental mm-hmm. health, yeah, and stuff like uh, vices. Going back to that, um, I have a song called Overdose. You can mm-hmm. find the official video. On um, YouTube, uh, Jimmy Abrams directed it. Great editor, by the way. Um, yeah, but the song is about like you're talking. It's like my subconscious talking mm-hmm. to myself. Yeah, and it's like, hey, you know what you're doing is wrong, but you're not listening to yourself. And the entire time, it's like my subconscious trying and trying. And at times, it you can't help it. Yeah, and then it, it's not always a happy ending. You can't that's, be saved. That's real, man. That's and 100%. at the end of the video, it's real. It gets real dark. It's like my subconscious sees myself overdose. Yeah, and like it, that's how it fades. The song has meaning. It's deep and like, uh, yeah, like you said, a lot of people has messaged me and told me it's like, hey, the song connects and it helped. And I think that's scary because it's like, I didn't know I could do that. For real, dude. Yeah, it feels uh, really great when people feel that way about you, man. Uh, it's pretty wild. But yeah, man. Uh, that like I said, that was a great episode, dude. I really appreciate you coming. Thanks for having uh, me. It's my pleasure, man. It's been a great time. Uh, episode thirty nine, bro. Uh, for the record, hashtag Together FTR. Like I said, make sure to go check out our website. Go to YouTube. Go to Twitter. Go to Instagram. Follow us on all these things. Subscribe. Go buy some merch. I really appreciate you guys. It's been a blessed day. I Love hope you guys. You got, yeah, I hope you guys. You know, have a wonderful night. And uh, tune in next time, baby. Drink water.